Okay, this is Lois's low play review of Kissimmee Rodeo. Um, after she gets side going. <clears throat> yeah, having people go in with you is probably not the best idea just because he doesn't want to leave them. But once you get started, you get going pretty good. Um, you're kicking and driving, trying to get your momentum now. So you're pretty far from the barrel as far as um, a good three strides away. One, two, three strides there. So that cost you some time. One, two. But that was a nice turn. Um, he took a step off. Uh, you know, you started it really nice. Um, he went into it really nice there, and he was trying to come around it. But um, you start double kicking him, if you'll notice. You start double kicking him, and and then you pull on his head a little bit right there. So he he takes a little step off. You're trying to put your outside leg on him, which is good. Um, but but then he just has that one little step off, so you kind of got in his face right there. If you notice right there, he throws his head up. So you're trying to get him to finish with your rein more than your body or your leg. So that would help, too, if you just sat back on helping him finish by dropping your shoulders back a little bit and bumping him with your outside leg instead of pulling on his head. So that would help as well. Um, you did a nice hustle there to second barrel. And then... Um, you know, when you go to the horn, you're still two hands there, but you can see he's already thinking rate. Right. So in one, two strides away from the barrel, um, you do good at getting as close as you could possibly get going in and coming around. That was a really nice turn, really snappy. You rimmed it. And then right up here, one, two strides of rate. Right. You bump in, he's, you know, got a decent pocket in there, more than you had on second. One, two, and he comes out. He takes a little step off, leaving, but not bad. So it was a really, um, that getting out there, you know, cost you a little bit of time as well. So the biggest place where I think you lost time on him was no momentum from the alleyway because the eye is pretty close to the mouth of the arena. And then um, that extra stride of rate going into first because of too much arc. And then um, you ran a 19.9. And then second was awesome. You couldn't have got in and out of that barrel any better. And third, you could have tightened up um, as well. So, but, but good job once you got him going. So um, you'll just have to, if he's starting to get nervous before you run, you maybe have to walk circles and keep him focused on a cue and then just keep your momentum, walk, trot, lope, go down that alleyway um, instead of letting him vapor lock with other horses walking you in. So good job.